Ayurveda Dishu Osinska and uh, these are the requirements. We are using the microglaze to design a digital oscilloscope and we are connecting two boards together, the Nexus 1 and the Nexus 2 board. The Nexus 1 board is basically um, collecting data from an uh, external source, basically it's the um, analog voltage input, and then uh, process the data. Um, for the sampling voltage, we use the um, uh, 8 uh, D con converter. And the Nexus 2 board, uh, we basically just display the waveform. So, um, yeah, display the waveform on the um, UGA monitor. Um, and the oscilloscope is operating in a run-stop fashion. So basically, it's user control. So when the, uh, uh, the user press the button, so it runs, and then it release, uh, if the uh, user releases the button, it stops. Um, so here are the block diagrams. This one is the Nexus One uh, board uh, block diagram. So basically, we have the PMOD A to D. It collects the um, the voltage analog input, and then the SPI receives um, the sample uh, waveform, um, the sample data. And then we have the timer counter generates an interrupt. Um, and then also on the, uh, we have the LCD, LED, and the buttons, the, the GPIO. And then um, for sending the data to the to another board, the Nexus board, we are using the UART. And um, on Nexus 1, we enable the transmit uh, register. And on Nexus 2, we enable the receive um, register. So um, it sends data, and the Nexus 2 board uh, collects the data and then uh, it sends out uh, to the VGA core and then uh, display on the VGA monitor. And uh, we kind of uh, changed to, I mean, switched to the UART is because um, uh, for the, we, we didn't do SPI because the uh, slave configuration in Silence basically is broken down. So if we um, do the master, the Nexus 1 board be the master, and then the uh, Nexus 2 board be the slave, basically it didn't work. So we um, switched to the UART, and also we don't have to go through all the configuration steps um, for the UART, because um, we have to go through the con configuration steps uh, for the SPI. So basically it's simpler, and uh, easy to use the UR. And, uh, uh, in uh, the next uh, part one is for data sampling, and we have a uh, many control, which allow the uh, user to feel frequency, uh, feel information uh, such as frequency, uh, time division, voltage division, and other informations. And it also allows us to increase or decrease the time division, uh, voltage division, and move the, the waveform up and down. And also it allows us to uh, uh, control when to start getting data. And for getting data part, we actually just <coughs> uh, accept uh, any source such as battery and Function generator for uh, for the for the input data and and uh, it work for any uh, regular waveforms such as sine waveform, uh, square waveform, and other waveforms. Uh, it will gather five cloud data points and it will automatically start and then you uh, it will take those data to find uh, fre to calculate frequency. Uh, attitude, period, and other information that we need. So once the data is cool. Oh, and then the way we send the data is uh, using a big array, holding the data and the info that we gather through the processing data, such as the frequency and all that. And after we send the data, we, we determined what order we would send it, such as data, then frequency, then period. We determined that between the two boards. and. After all that, we refresh the LCD screen to display the information we need. So on the data display app, we sort of have a, a very simplistic um, 
flow chart that we go through. So we start, when the board starts up, it initializes the VGA connector. And we'll go into that in a minute. And then when we receive an interrupt for the UART, meaning we've received data from the other board, uh, we read in the 16 bits of data from the receive FIFO, classify the data as whether it's a waveform or information such as the frequency or the amplitude, uh, format that data as needed for our VGA display, and then output it to a block RAM. Uh, so the actual VGA display was actually written in VHDL uh, because Microblaze does not have the performance needed to drive a 40 megahertz pixel, cl pixel clock for the VGA display. Uh, so we wrote everything in VHDL at, uh, at a very low level and imported it as a single IP core uh, within uh, Simon's Platform Studio. So we have one module that essentially ju just generates the horizontal and vertical sync signals uh, for the monitor at a resolution of 800 by 600 pi pixels and a refresh rate of 60 hertz. Uh, then we have a character generation engine that's actually a three-stage pipeline. So we will pull out which characters should be drawn from the information gram. So those are the numbers you'll see on the screen for the frequency, period, and so on. And then a character gram is actually a mapping of all the characters we can display on the screen. And so that data is read through here and then piped over to the pixel generator, which determines what colors we show on the screen and output it uh, to the VGA display. Okay, and we tested the board by separating into two groups. One group would test the, do the data gathering, the other group would do the VGA display. And we were able to test the data gathering just using a, either a battery or a function generator, even from our project four. And we would test the VGA just by putting kind of fake data into the our code and outputting it to the VGA. And we, when we were connecting it together, we tried using the SPI at first, but we ran into problems there. So we switched to the UART, and it was much simpler to implement, and we didn't need the speed from the SPI, so it worked. And the transmission, we adjusted the format, so we determined what to send first, what to send next, and we also included a first send that told us that we're starting to send data to the other board. And our code ended up to, for the Nexus 1, use almost all the slices available, and about 800 lines of code. And for the Nexus 2, we used about 30% of the slices, and about 300 or 400 lines of code in C and about 700 lines of VHDL. So we have a demo set up over at our lab bench. So we have the character generator as well as yeah, the character generator, the pixel generator, and the VGA signal generator. Uh, the way we actually did the characters was we created an Excel spreadsheet uh, that essentially gave us uh, the the 10 by 16 pixels and we just filled in zeros or ones where we wanted the characters to show up and those actually got saved into a text file that you import into the Xilinx tools that has a memory editor It generates what's called a coefficients file and the coefficients file gets loaded into block RAM. And then, then you had to go to the scan. Correct. To translate the pixels into the scan. Yes. Yeah. So you did all that. Yeah. All in the HDL. <coughs> <laughs> so, if everyone would like to go over to bench 13, we have a demo ready. Change the time division. And you'll see that when the user press, presses the button, it will show that it's run, mm -hmm. and when it release, it will show a stop. And we can increase the frequency the function generator and calculate the frequency. See, then, and I'll 
the move the waveform up and down. So that's moving it up. And shrinking it. And we can also display a different waveform. Like a triangle wave. And basically the, the screen displays the frequency, the amplitude, maximum and minimum, and also the time divisions and the whole divisions. So what was the algorithm you used over there to calculate zero processing? To, we basically scrolled through the entire array that we gathered and looked for the maximum value, looked for the minimum value. And we also had a, a pretty tricky algorithm to calculate the period and the frequency, which took a little while to figure out, but we managed to make it work. And I think uh, this, um, the MCD have all the uh, informa have, uh, more detailed information than uh, the, the screen display over there. We have um, time division, uh, on, but uh, still, Run stop mode, and we have the time division mode, uh, voltage division mode, and precision, uh, period, frequency, uh, amplitude, uh, min minimum and maximum. So it's it's also it's more detailed in the LCD. Much more than this. Yeah. 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 Well, I am super impressed. <laughs> Give them a hand.